something extremely important and exciting is happening today. First though, I gotta go vote. There, I voted. So the big news for today is not that it's election day, even though that's important. The big news is that today is the very first day of the regular season of college basketball, and I got tickets to the championship, Champions Classic in Indianapolis, Duke versus Kentucky, Michigan State versus Kansas. So, road trip, baby. First stop, going to get my buddy Kenny. He's a big Kentucky fan. Poor guy. was a fun game. I know what you're thinking, especially if you're a Kentucky fan, which a lot of my friends are Kentucky fans. How did a nice guy like me end up as a Duke Blue Devils fan? It's actually really quite simple. When I was nine years old, my parents got a divorce. By the time I was in middle school, 11, 12 years old, I had developed this love for this game, this game called basketball. And so growing up in middle school in the 90s as a short white point guard, I had very few options of college basketball role models. One of those guys was Bobby Hurley. Bobby Hurley was the best point guard to ever play college basketball, my opinion. Some people would debate me on that. But as I grew up watching college basketball, I wanted to be like, Bobby Hurley and so Bobby Hurley and Duke became like my favorite basketball team. They were the guys that I watched, they were the guys that I looked up to. They were the guys who helped me through an incredibly difficult time in my life whenever I was trying to figure out who I was, wanted to be a basketball player played a ton of basketball, spent hours and hours in a gym just like this one and they helped me cope with all kinds of stuff. And so without knowing it, these guys who everybody in Kentucky considers bad guys really were helping me with my life. They were helping me figure things out. And so I became a Duke basketball fan. So last night as I was watching Duke just absolutely destroy Kentucky, I was remembering all that Duke basketball meant to me. And so that's why I am a fan of the Duke Blue Devils, even though I lived in Florida and have never ever attended class at Duke University.